Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the next episode of New Girl Legacy of the Duelist. Today we're looking at Attacks from the Deep where Yugi takes on Mako Tsunami, a classic duel in the actual TV show. And I actually missed that episode. Let's get into it guys. Well, the duelist made me hungry. Did you guys remember to bring food? Sorry Joey. That's a good question. Okay, whatever. Um, they followed the scent. Pretty much they, heard, they smell some fish being cooked. They follow it. And it's actually Mako Tsunami's food. He gets the shit. Yugi. And yeah, it's actually a pretty good episode. So let's do it. Sorry, I just plowed through that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to like go slow so you can read it. I forget I'm recording sometimes. Cool, so we're gonna win that and we're gonna go first. Okay. Cool, so we actually got the moon card. It's good. Surrender, no, I don't think so. A beast warrior type once we equip this gets uh, increased attack and defense by 300. Okay. Let's set him and then attack fight wasteland. And then let's go beaver warrior. Uh, he is a beast. I could activate it now to go 1500, but I'm eager to see what happens. So let's, um, let's actually just now for safe measure in case they get another monster I can sacrifice and then like you know some skull maybe something like that and he can get Yumi oh no no, no not the moon god damn it all right well this is why we play Swords of Revealing Life guys this reason <laughs> another beaver warrior okay oof 1800 yeah not good let's set him and let's uh Set him just in case he destroys my Swords of Revealing Light. That's not going to end well. Ah, he sacrificed. Uh oh. Oh, Amphibian Beast. Yeah, not good. Not good. What's this? Um, destroy a Golem. Yeah, you can't destroy much, can you? Your turn, buddy. <laughs> Okay. So I need to pull a Dark Magician or something here. Come on, Dark Magician. Even that wouldn't work. Oh, man. Okay, I'm pretty much on the defensive here. You know what's really cool? You can put a field spell down and it won't go away if someone else plays this because it'll be on their field. See, I still got the wasteland. He's still got water. Oh no, he's gonna get Orca. Is it Orca? Oh fuck, Orca's whale. God damn. Okay. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Um. Okay, guys. Looks like we're gonna have another fail, just like we did in the Harpy episode. <laughs> Oh man. Well, okay. Fiend Kraken. Right, right. Yeah, not good. Not good. Oh, cool. Beaver Warrior survived. Right, I forgot about that. 1400. Oh shit, okay. Damn it. Okay. This is not good. Aqua Snake. You know what? If I draw a Rejecky, that will be good. I wonder if it's in his deck. Or Mirror Force. I know Mirror Force is. Just depends. If I don't draw it now, I pretty much lose. Nah, oh, damn it. Okay. 1250. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, why not? Let's just um, go all out. <laughs> I didn't do much. All right, so we're gonna lose. We got a really, really crappy hand. He got a good hand. I mean, he got a really good hand. We'll redo this. It's all good. It's not my fault, guys. You, you get deck. I don't really have anything. 
All right, let's try again. If it doesn't work out, well, I probably just went off like this. Me. Okay. Ah, damn. Okay. He's going first. Okay, I'm going second. Alright, come on. Give me a good hand. It's not bad. It's not bad. Ah, oh, he's got a Yumi again. Okay. Come on, something good. Attack of... Uh, once per turn, when the battle position of a rock type monster you control is changed, you can target one spell or trap, spell or trap on the opponent. Oh, okay. I don't have a rock. Oh, there we go. I have a rock type. Oh, he's got a mad effect. Okay. We've got a good hand, guys. We've got a good hand. Let's activate this. It's a continuous spell. And I have two, just in case. Okay. Not bad, not a bad hand so far. Oh, what? Oh, is he gonna ask me every time? Oh, I want someone to activate Spellbinding Circle. Oh. No, I'm good. Yeah, go for it, attack me. Please attack me. Come on, attack me. Go for it. <laughs> Stop asking me, my god. Oh, that sucks. Uh, once per turn, you can change this card to face down to vent. When this card is flipped, summon, target one monster your opponent controls and return that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. No. Uh, yes, I want to act. No, I want my monster card, man. What about this? Oh, well, it's my turn. I thought it was a flip effect. Okay. My bad. Which card do I want to act? No, not to relax, but the spellbinding circle, god. Okay. No, fucking hell. Alright, um. What's that? 1400. Cool, let's get this guy up. So, no, go away. I can activate this effect. No, why would I click yes? So, when it's flip summoned. I can target one monster. Okay, but it's gonna go straight to um attack mode, so I don't want that. Let's just go at no, leave me alone. Let's go ahead and attack this guy here. No. No. Cool. Alright, end. No. Okay. No. For fuck's sake. Oh man, okay. This is gonna get annoying. Like, if he summons amphibian beast, I'll use it. But not now. Not gonna let spellbinding circle on a thing cracking, like seriously. Cool. Go yeah. away. Alright. So this is what we're gonna do. Um gonna summon Beaver Warrior. This guy has got 1500. No, 1600. We're gonna flip summon him. Activate the effect, return this guy. No, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, cool. No, sorry. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I thought it was still by the circle. I'm like, what the hell? There you go. You just got double pumped, bro. Okay, let's do it. See, it all depends on the sort of um, hand that you get in the beginning, you know? If it's not your own custom deck, you can't really blame it on you. <laughs> cool. All right. What's he got? Yumi, uh-huh. Fane Kraken. Ah, uh, oof, I don't want him to destroy my Golem Sentry. Ah, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. Cause I don't want to destroy my Golem Sentry, he's got a nice effect. Okay. And I don't think you have time to summon anything else, like Amphibium, whatever bullshit, so. There's another Rock Monster there. Now we can go ahead and um, change this to back down. Okay. And. Alright, let me see. 1400. Yep, we can take him out. What was that? Oh. What? Why well, you feel you can. Battle damage. Oh. 
Oh wow, oh, okay. Oh good, I do have Attack of the Moon, guys. Next turn. That's the beauty of Attack of the Moon, I can destroy that. Jellyfish. Alright. I can suffer one people warrior. Oh, Monster Reborn. Okay, so once per turn when you change the battle, yep, okay. So flip summon. And then we're gonna activate. Activate this. Destroy. Although we could have destroyed Yumi and that would have been destroyed as well. Damn it. I wasn't thinking. Alright, summon this. And we're gonna win this now. So let's go ahead and do Monster Reborn. We'll bring back one of his to make it painful. <laughs> oh man, I'm evil. I am evil. Alright, attack. Let's do it. Sorry, Mako, but this is gonna hurt, bro. Even for a makeover. Eh, that's pretty lame. And we won. Nice. Well, thank you for staying tuned for that battle, guys. Attacking the deep. What a grand duel. I salute you, my friend. Victory is not easily one maker. You're a great duelist yourself. Awesome. Um, I'm not going to do my Yu-Gi-Oh impression, by the way. Not yet. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, thanks for staying tuned for Attack of the Deep, everyone. The Dino Duelist, or the Dinosaur Duelist, when Joey takes on Rex, will be out soon. So, yeah. If you've enjoyed Attack from the Deep, go ahead and smash that like button, guys. You know what to do. And, uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Stay strong, stay tuned. Later. <laughs>